Norman Osborne? He's going after Norman Osborne? Yeah. Pete, you have to let him. Miles, you know I can't do that. Why not? I saw the stuff on TNM. He's not killing them. He's just... Just... We don't know what he's doing to them. I know that Nefario dude went from being an international terrorist to a guy who knits a lot. If the Sin Eater can do that to Osborne after everything he's done, maybe some good can come out of this after all. His followers just try to blow up a mosque. Yeah, and he's a bad guy. I get it. We need to stop him. But maybe we just let him do his thing on Norman first, then we stop him. Win-win. Look, Pete, you and I have come across more than one Norman Osborne. And maybe I don't know this one as well as you do, but there's another one I'll never forget. The first time I met him. It was sort of the first time I met you, too. Now I get it. Alternate Osbournes and all. But the longer I'm here, I realize things are more the same than different. So maybe then it was another Peter? But what if next time? I can't let that happen to you, man. I appreciate that, Miles. I really do. But if that is what's gonna happen, at least I already know somebody will be there to step up when I'm gone. Hey, I'm already stepping up. I'm stepped. Hate to say it, but Miles does have a point. Whether it's the Green Goblin or Norman Osborn, it's not hard to see how the story eventually ends. Yeah, I managed to get the best of him so far, but each time I face him, he keeps finding new ways to become more deadly. More dangerous. How long before my already terrible luck runs out? Then again, maybe his luck will run out first. <laughs>